this video, I will talk about the important questions of the lower limb. These questions are important only in the exam oriented point of view. But as an MBBS student, we should be aware of each and every topic from any subject. So now let's discuss about the essays. Those are frequently asked in the exams. The first question is the sciatic nerve. It is asked under the following headings. The course, relation, its branches and the clinical aspect. The second one is the arches of the foot. In this question, they are going to ask the types of the arches, the factors maintaining the arches and the stability of these arches, the function of the arches and differences between the longitudinal and the transverse arch and the clinical point of view. The next important question is the venous and lymphatic drainage of the lower limb. In this question, they ask the deep and superficial veins, their tributaries, varicose veins that is the clinical aspect and you should draw a clear cut diagram on the deep and superficial veins and the next question is the femoral triangle it can be asked by the headings the boundaries of the femoral triangle the contents the femoral sheet the extent and the clinical aspects the next question is the knee joint it is very important the ligaments of the knee joint are always important either in essays, shorts or very shorts. The side headings they may ask the type of the joint, the articular surfaces, the factors that provide the stability of this joint, its cartilages like the meniscus. The meniscus are very important in shorts also and the dislocation of knee joint that is the clinical aspect and the bursaries around the knee joint is very important. And the next question is the hip joint. It is also by the same heading. The type of the joint, the ligaments and the factors that provide stability to the hip joint. The bursae around the hip joint and the cartilages. The next question is the popliteal fossa and the popliteal artery. It can be asked as boundaries, contents and you should describe about the contents with a diagram. The branches of the popliteal artery, the shape of the fossa and the extent. And the clinical aspects and the next question is the femoral artery it is very important question these days you should write about the course its branches and the muscles it supply for an essay question try to include as many as diagrams like three to four diagrams with nice coloring and with nice labeling and the tibial nerve is important in the division of the tibial nerve so you can read about the sciatic nerve in its divisions, there is a sciatic nerve with the tibial nerve and the common perovalian nerve. So you should read the tibial nerve and the common perovalian nerve also. This common perovalian nerve can be asked in shorts. It is very important in shorts. And the tibial nerve can also be asked as an essay. So you should read the sciatic nerve with all the divisions in depth. And the next important question is the gluteal region. They will ask the muscles that is mainly the gluteus maximus minimus and they will ask the structures under the gluteus maximus so it is a very important question the compartments of thigh is also important because they may ask the question as the hamstring the hamstring group of muscles and the quadriceps quadriceps group of muscles that is the anterior compartment and the hamstrings the, that is the posterior compartment so the compartments of the thigh with the nerve supply, muscles and the movements involved is also important as an essay question. And now coming to the shorts. The shorts are the gluteus maximus. As I already said, the nerve supply to it, the extent and insertion and origin for it. And you can also write the contents. Those are under cover of the gluteus maximus. The adductor canal is very important. It can be asked as the adductor canal the subsartorial canal or the hunter's canal to confuse you so it is very important for short questions you should include minimum of two diagrams with nice coloring and labeling in the profunda femoris artery that is a branch of the femoral artery is very important the common peroneal nerve that is a branch of sciatic nerve is very important in shorts the popliteal fossa they may ask in brief about it the boundaries the muscles involved the contents of it the popliteus muscle is important for four marks that is the short question the dorsalis pedis artery is very important and its clinical aspect is very important as to know the pulse the inversion and aversion of foot is very very important as in the upper limb the supination and pronation of the limb 
For important questions of upper limb, you can click on the I button. The biceps femoris is very important. You should write about the origin and the insertion of it and the nerve supply and the action. You can draw a very neat diagram for this. The hamstring muscles is very very important even in shorts or in essays. They can also ask the hamstring muscles in very short as the names of the hamstring muscles. You should write the origin, the insertion for this, the nerve supply and you should write about the true hamstrings and the false hamstrings. The retinacula around the ankle is also important as the flexor retinaculum in the upper limb. You should draw a diagram for this and you should write about the structures under cover of it. The tibialis posterior muscle is also important. You should write about the origin, the insertion of this and the nerve supply. As it is a short question, you should draw a diagram. The plantar reponeurus is also important. The tendocalcaneus is very very important question. It can be asked as very short or even short. It is a favorite question of the examiner or the teacher. It can be also asked with its another name that is the echolis tendon. The obturator nerve is important. You should write about the course, the branches and the muscle it supplies with a small diagram. The tibiofibular joint is also important. Plantar arterial arch is an important question. The peroneus longus muscle is important and its origin, the insertion and the action. The deep peroneal nerve is very important. The transverse arch and the longitudinal arch, these two are the arches of foot that was included in the essay question. So this question can be asked in the four marks question like the transverse arch and the longitudinal arch. And another important question is the greater and lesser sciatic foramen and the contents inside. It's very important. The adductor magnus muscle is important. The iliotibial tract is very important in shorts and very shorts. You can draw a neat diagram for this. And finally, the lateral and medial plantar arteries are also very important. You can draw a neat label diagram for this. So this is all about the shorts. Now let's know about the very short questions. The very short questions will be more actually. So the first VSAQ is the ankle joint and its movement is important. The cribriform fascia or the saphenous opening. It's a very important question. You, you can draw a simple diagram for this as it is a very easy diagram. Cribriform fascia and the opening there. The great saphenous vein is a very important question. It may be also asked in the short. The tensor fascia later is very important. It is also a short question. The cruciate anastomosis is very important question. For very short questions, there is no need to draw a diagram, but you can draw simple diagrams for simple questions to gain full marks in very short questions. The ligaments of the knee joint is very important. They may also ask about the meniscus and the tibial collateral ligament and the fibular collateral ligament. So remember these points, these can be asked as very shorts and ligaments of the knee joint is also a short. So you should learn about the ligaments of knee joint in depth while reading the essay question. The meniscus, the collateral ligaments and the next question is the soleus muscle. It's very important question. It's the most favorite question of the examiner. The gastrocnemius muscle is important. The, the femoral nerve is very important. You should write about its course and the muscles it supply. The hallux valgus is also a favorite question of the examiner, so you should read about it. The trochanteric anastomosis is also important. The dorsalis pedis artery is very very important question. The iliotibial tract, it is also a short question. The hamstring muscles, in very short, they will ask the hamstring muscles as name the hamstring muscles with the nerve supply or name the true hamstring muscles etc. So it is very important. The quadriceps muscle is also important. The structures attached to the linear aspira is very very important. The erector canal is very important. They may ask you as the hunter's canal or the subsartorial canal to confuse you. The femoral sheet is very very important. They will ask the contents of the femoral sheet and how the sheet is formed. The obturator nerve is important. So you should write about the extent and the muscles it supply. The profunda femoris artery is very important. It can also be asked as a short question. The gluteus maximus is very very important. For very short question, you should just write the origin, the insertion and the nerve supply. 
no need to draw a diagram for this the gluteus minimus is also the same the origin insertion and nerve supply no need to draw a diagram the pudendal nerve is very important the biceps femoris is very very important question the vastus group of muscle is very important question so remember in lower limb the compartments of the thigh are always important and the muscles the nerve supply you should remember it all and the contents of popliteal fossa is very important as a two marks or very short question the common peroneal nerve and the muscle supplied is very important the tibial nerve is very very important the ligaments of the hip joint are very important as like the ligaments of the knee joint the sciatica is very important and it's a very much favorite question of an examiner because of its most frequent appearance and the clinical importance so it is very important you should know about it and the veins of the leg can be asked as two marks question they may ask you to name the deep or superficial veins of the leg and they may ask you what is the peripheral heart and you should know the answer for this it's the soleus muscle so they can ask the question like the peripheral heart to make you confused and the achilles tendon the achilles tendon is the another name for the tendocalcaneus it is the strongest ligament of the body the plantar fascia is also important i'm thinking to make a video on very short like a compilation so you can keep on the comments below and let me know whether i should make a video on very shorts of different topics like upper limb thorax abdomen lower limb and head and neck in upcoming videos and do look at some of my recent videos and playlists